What is going on guys, Master of here with another Boom Beach episode for you. Uh, now today, I know we were meant to do this one yesterday, but I've been super, super busy over the weekend. Uh, so this has come up today. Now the winner for the Thousand Diamonds giveaway last week, I have just picked it. It is Philip Chip. Now Philip Chip said, the main thing that I agree with him on here is that a fast forward button when you're attacking the battle so you don't have to wait as long. Because obviously if you're waiting sometimes and you have like one troop left... Like, firing at that HQ, you might have to sit through three minutes of that. Whereas, you kind of want it just to, to skip it and get there and kind of complete it. So, I completely agree with you there. Uh, the only problem with Philip is you didn't put your information in the comments. So, please do comment um, down below this video your information and I'll make sure to send you over a thousand doims giveaway. <clears throat> thousand doims? I think I said diamonds and coins. Thousand diamonds giveaway. So, for this week's question, guys, it is a pretty simple one. Do you think they should make any kind of different resource materials? If you do, which one? If you don't, why not? So basically, obviously, we've got uh, the um, wood, stone, iron. Do you think they should add another one? I don't know quite what yet, but should they add another one? Maybe like a, a, a dark uh, material so that you can make dark versions of, uh, of your mortars, cannons, whatever, that do more damage or vice versa. You know, you tell me down in the comments. Anyway, on to, on to today's video so today's video is going to be mainly focusing on attacking resource bases because i've been noticing how many resource bases i've lost recently every day i come on and i just lose them so fast so we're going to try and take some resource bases down uh no real updates on my base it's pretty much the same thing uh just upgrading stuff obviously and i am still rocking the tanks now i'm absolutely loving the tanks the tanks seem to be one of my favorite things to do at the moment um, so if you haven't played with the tanks yet, definitely give them a go. They're definitely something you want to do. That's troop damage plus 8. That's not too bad. What have I got down here? Oh, that's plus 10 or pl or health. Nah, we don't want that. All right, let's just reclaim this, and then we'll go out and battle. So, yeah, I mean, playing as the tanks is quite slow, but for some reason, I feel it's a lot funner uh, than I expected. So you can see here, loads of my stuff has been taken because I haven't been able to play it for a couple of days because uh, my iPad has been dead. So we've got a load of stuff to take here. Uh, I'm going to start off taking our resource bases. So let's have a look at the resource bases. Now, obviously, as we are rocking... That's uh, that's alright, actually. As we're rocking the, uh, the tanks, we've got to be careful of these two things. Uh, so we're going to take the boom cannon out first. Let's just see how many he takes. Hopefully, he'll only take three. But it looks like he's going to take four, actually. Yeah, he's taking four. Put that down there. Boom! Alrighty then, so we can spawn up people down here. How many can I spawn? Oh, I can spawn everybody up. That's that's always good. Let's spawn them up here. I'm actually going to try and miss the machine guns and flamethrowers and just kind of push up the left here. So I'm actually going to put them all the way over there. Hopefully they're going to obviously take out the uh, the mine that's got going here. But please don't go in the way of the flamethrower or anybody. And take out that machine gun pretty quick. <laughs> the machine guns do quite a lot of damage uh, to tanks as well. Surprisingly... Uh, a surprising amount because I didn't think they would do much damage. Oh, that's all right. At least they're just out of range of the flamethrowers. All right, so take out that sniper. No, don't go for the machine gun. Oh, you idiot. All right, I'm going to send all my troops right up to the top there. We've got one guy that's losing a bit of health. I'm actually not going to make them take anything else out. I'm just going to let them go now and destroy the HQ. Now, this is where you need the speed up button because we're going to be sat here. Obviously, this isn't too bad because we have a lot of tanks. But say we only had one or two. We would be sat on here for ages. But it's not too bad. But there we go. That's our first one taken down. So Captain Chris, your resource base is now mine. Pretty easy to do with the tanks. Obviously, if they had a lot more um, cannons, it would be a lot harder. A lot harder thing to do. And there we go. So that's our first one taken down. And we've got a lot of stone from that. So stone, I think, is quite an important one. Do we get anything new? No, just upgraded. I don't know if I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to change it because I don't think that mortar's placed well at all. Uh, let's put that kind of down there. I think otherwise it's quite well done. It's quite jam... Uh, sorry, it's quite spread out, actually. So I'm going to actually pack it a little bit all, a little bit closer. I don't mind them being touching the base. That's, that's fine with me. Um, I'm going to put everything just a tad closer. Just because then, you know, when people come in, if they're doing the Warriors, like if they're trying to do a Warrior Rush or something, it's going to be a lot harder for them to get around everything. So, let's put that there. 
I'm going to put this cannon over this side. I don't know why. No, I'm not, actually. I'm going to swap out this machine gun. Just fit the cannon in there. Put the machine gun on the outside. Actually, that's touching. There we go. Uh, and then the mortar is actually going to go right at the front because the good thing about the mortar at the front there is it will obviously get people as they kind of attack from over here, but also the flamethrowers and this machine gun will be doing good jobs defending it. So that's a little bit better base. Hopefully that will defend it a little bit better. So let's have a look at Tiger's. Tiger's one. Um, so he's got a couple of... He's got four cannons. That's kind of the dangerous point here. Uh, but otherwise, not too bad. This should be okay. Uh, as long as I take out a couple of the cannons. Hopefully they're just two shots. Yeah, they are. That's alright. Okay, so I'm going to take those two out. And then spawn up the troops. And send the troops in. Now hopefully, obviously, they'll get enough... Points, energy points, so I can at least do damage on the other cannons. So, they're going to take that machine gun out like nothing else. Goodbye, machine gun. But now, this is the problem. When they all focus on one thing, they need to kind of spread around a bit more. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zap those lot and send them all on that cannon right there. Just to take it out first thing, because obviously we don't... Oh, no, they're getting really close. No, that cannon can see him. What are they doing? They're all shooting so close to that. Oh, we've lost one. We are one man down. What they... I don't know why they came all the way out here to shoot that cannon, but they definitely felt like it was necessary. I think they're just out of range of the cannon. Yeah, they're just out of range of the cannon, so hopefully nobody will move. Do not move, guys. Like, don't move forward, at least. Oh, God. They're moving forward. <laughs> oh, no. That other cannon is taking them out now. There we go. All right, we've got him down. We've got him down. We're fine. We're fine. So, I'm going to send all the troops out over to the left, together. Hopefully now they can take out the flamethrower and the mortar. And now once they take those two out, in theory, they could just take out the, the HQ, which is what I'm hoping. But please don't die. No, they've taken out another one. Half, no, wait, yeah, half of our troops have been destroyed in this one. And it really didn't look that hard, but... uh. That's not that's not too good. All right, well let's let's spawn this back up. We'll spawn up some more tanks and go again. But now we play the waiting game. Yeah, we could definitely do with the speed up button. And there we have it. Okay, so that's that destroyed. We didn't do too well in it with our troops. Quite a few of them dying, but at least we did it. All right. Three casualties. Um, it's not that great, but let's just uh, let's just make sure everybody comes back. 39 diamonds. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds to uh, do tanks. All right, so we've got another resource base up here. Let's have a look at this one, see how this one's going. I'm trying to save up enough coins to... No, that's, that's not good for our tactic at the moment. We're not going to do that one straight away. Let's have a look at some other ones. I'm actually saving up so I can um, upgrade my tanks again. No, oh, those boom cannons, man. Those boom cannons will just rinse my guys. That is definitely a warrior rush that we need there. So I'm actually going to find a new opponent. Hopefully the new opponent's base will be a lot easier. Uh, it's not a lot easier, but it is easier. So I, I'll, I'll give this one a go. I probably might lose a couple of troops in it, but uh, at least we'll be able to take them out. So I'm actually going to put that in the middle because the sniper towers surprisingly do that lot of damage, don't they, on the on the tanks. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. Send the guys up there and shock that with the mortar. Come on, tanks! They need another gear. They need to put a turbo in them. There are there are they are a little bit slow. At least the rockets don't do too much damage to it. But you see that sniper tower? Look at that damage the sniper tower is doing. It just... It rinses them out pretty damn quickly. So we're probably going to lose that guy. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose that guy pretty soon. He's, he's, he's going off by himself. What is this guy doing? Stick with the stick with the pact and he'd be alright. But uh, he, he doesn't play that way. He does his own little game. Let's shock all of them. Uh, and hopefully buy us some time. That machine gun is a high-level machine gun. There we go. We destroy him. All right, go on, guys. Take out the sniper tower. Now we've just got mortars. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to send my troops to kind of sit in the middle of all these mortars. 
hopefully missing these shots. Yes, they've just missed it. Oh my god, they missed them all. Alright, come on. You can do this, guys. Now just kind of shoot things that are close to you. So we've lost two troops. That's actually not too bad. I'm, I'm happy with losing two troops. Let's heal them up because these mortars are doing quite a bit of damage. Surprisingly, a lot of damage. I didn't think they did that much damage, but clearly they do. Come on, take that one out, and then we'll just go sit right next to this one. Hopefully they can sit close enough so that none of them can get shot by it. No, that one's, that one sat, like, so far out. But he is getting shot by it as well. But it's all right, we've destroyed him. There we go. So we only lost two on that one, which isn't too bad again. But we aren't gonna we aren't gonna spawn more up. Let's go in and see if we can take out the next load of people with just four of them. I think we should be able to. And that's that one done. Awesome. Alright. So let's go find the next resource base. It'd be pretty cool if we could actually wipe the whole thing uh like all the resource base is gone i actually like that guy's defense i'm not going to change it up at all uh but we've got quite a few here so let's have a look at itzik binkta i have no idea what your name is uh what have we got here so this this is not actually too bad it's kind of tank friendly uh but he's online so we can't attack it brilliant let's take out have a look at this guy Again, not too bad. Let's see if we can take this one out. The only thing that worries me on this one is the amount of sniper towers that he has. Uh, but it shouldn't be too hard to destroy it. Hopefully we can take out that cannon. No, you're serious? That cannon has, like, ridiculously small health left. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna take it out. Because I can't, I just can't have it shooting my guys. Even once, if it shoots them once, that is a serious problem for me. So I'm gonna go sit the, sit the troops up the top there. Why do they do this? Why do they go so freaking close and then turn? All right. Hopefully they can take out this rocket launcher just outside of the sniper zone. That sniper can still see it. All right. Now we're safe. We're safe. Come on, guys. Don't go too close. Don't go too close. I'm going to heal them up because they all need a little bit of health. We might be out of the sniper zone if we went and sit, sat around the back, but I don't know. It'd be quite a close call. We're losing troops really fast here. This is crazy. I we need to we need to stop this. Come on, don't die, don't die on me. Shock it! All right, come on, you can take them out, take that out, and then take the flamethrower out, and then we should be done. Then we should be done. Come on, do it, do it, do it. Don't die, don't die, don't die. No, no, he's taking one of them out. That last one's. It's all up to the last one now. Alright, let's see if what's he going to do. So he's going to take out the flamethrower. Which is alright, still does a little bit of damage onto the base. And then he's just going to focus on the HQ. This is the problem. This is exactly, again, uh, what Philip Chip said. We do need that fast forward button to kind of speed this all up. Because it's just, now we are just going to sit here and wait. So uh, let's sit here and wait. Alright, so with only just 30 seconds left on the clock, it doesn't look like we're going to do this. It's t it looks too far away for me. I thought that, like, at, at a minute, I was like, ah, this is going to be close, but he's not doing enough damage to it. Which is really upsetting, because if this was a war, we wouldn't have a timer on it, and we would win it. So, definitely not going to do it now, with 10 seconds left. No, not a hope in hell. I can't believe that. That is crazy. If we had six six tanks, obviously we would have destroyed that um, a lot easier. But we lost it. I can't believe we lost that on that final bit. All right. So what I want to show you now, guys, as the final thing is uh, some raids on my base. Now, people have said the base isn't that great. Now, 
I have actually been raided quite a lot of times recently, and most of the time my base does okay, but it can be destroyed actually quite easily. So this guy here is doing a warrior rush, uh, by the looks of it. So let's see how this does. The good thing about my base is it's it's kind of packed. It's quite close quarters. So if you do do a warrior rush or you know put a lot of warriors out, that a lot of people do. You're not going to survive. The best way to do it usually is using a mix of troops. Now he's tried to go around the side to do a flank. But it doesn't work because of the, the how it's set up is you can't really flank it. The only way to flank it is you have to run through loads and loads of my, my troops or my defense. And he just tried to retreat. He actually tried to retreat at the end of that. So there's someone that can't win it. Now this is a perfect example of how you do do the warrior rush. When this happened, I was really, really surprised. I don't know if, if you were surprised too, but here we go. Now, I was um, pretty sure that you could not flank this base. And I watched this and I was like, damn. <laughs> so, you can see he's gone in. He's around the back now. Shocks them all out. Puts them all onto my base. Doesn't worry about anything else. And just destroys it. Now, I've got a load and load of defenses killing that guy right there. But they just do not do enough damage. And that, is, that was really concerning me. So uh, let's check this one out. So this is the one how I would do it. It's like a spread of different troops. So let's spawn this up and have a look. So again, going for the flank method. It's what everybody seems to do. So we're going to change this up right now. Uh, the last thing we do is change up the base. Because although I thought you couldn't flank this one easily, turns out you can kind of flank it. So there you go. That, that's basically how we did it. So to stop this, I think only the only thing I really can do is swap a couple of things around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my base into the center here, like so, and put my flamethrower behind it. Now, my kind of theory here is that that should cover it. We've got a flamethrower and a flamethrower covering most of the patch. You can't really flank it. If you do, you've got a lot to contend with. Um... I actually, I don't know if I should move it forward a little bit more. Let's put that there. Now that should be all right. So there we go. Hopefully that has stopped it. I will update you next week on whether that has actually stopped the flanking. Uh, but as you can see, I was talking about upgrading. My tanks require 620 coins to upgrade, which is a lot more than I have now. So hopefully we'll have that by next week. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, please do leave a like down below. I will see you next week, and good luck for everybody entering the Thousand Diamonds giveaway. I can't wait to read your comments. Peace like out. This, huh? Huh? What? He just chested it down. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened, bro. You might be able to chest my nade down, but you don't, you don't stay alive. <laughs>